All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Clip Bucket. Um, despite the errors in version 2.6 and 2.5, I've seen the uh, same installation issues. Um, this tutorial does not cover um, how to install FFmpeg and all the other stuff, but uh, that'll be in the next one. This is just going to be to install um, Clip Bucket. Now I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already have Apache installed with PHP and MySQL and you have that up and running. Now what you'll need to do is go ahead and have your uh, clip bucket download which mine uh, as you can see is 2.6 and I'm going to go over here to my htdocs folder and then I'm going to create a folder. I already have a folder created uh, called clip bucket. Go ahead and open it up. And now I'm going to go ahead and open this uh, clip bucket archive. We're going to choose the uh, upload one. And then I'm just going to hit Control A to select all of it. And I'm just going to drag and drop these straight over here. And it'll take a minute to extract and copy those over. All right. While I'm waiting on that to extract, I'm going to open up my browser and I'm going to go ahead and create my database for Clip Bucket. I'm going to drop the uh, database since I already created it. We're starting all over. Alright, so we're going to create the database. Name Clip Bucket and Create. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to properly do this. We're going to add a new user. going to bind it to the uh, proper host and it will generate a password and then I'm just going to copy this and we're going to go ahead and leave all this uh, as is alright now I'm going to choose uh, where did my user go All right, so I clicked on the user tab, <clears throat> and now I'm going to go ahead and edit its privileges. And this right here, we're going to go ahead and uh, select the database and click go. All right, we're just going to go ahead and check all. I'll let them uh, do whatever. All right, so now we have our. Uh, our user and privileges set up for uh, our database. Now we'll go ahead and I'm going to leave this open for a moment. I'll go ahead and click uh, alright so it takes me to the installation page Alright, and it gives me a couple of warnings, and these are okay for now. We're not too worried about that. Um, we'll go ahead and continue. All my directories are writable, so we'll continue. Alright, our database name, obviously, was Clip Bucket. Our username is going to be Clip Bucket as well. And for the password, I'm going to paste that big old long password in there then click check connection now for the admin uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the uh, default password and username and uh, same with the email um, you're gonna wanna put the correct email here but I'm just going since I'm just setting this up as a example we're, we'll leave it and we'll click save and continue Oh no, not this nasty thing. Okay, so 
action link does not have a default value yada yada part of the issue is it did not create the admin user so what we're going to do we're going to have to do their work for them go over here to clip bucket install this is in our htdocs folder go to sql and uh, we sh add admin that's what we want open this up in our text editor all right so now we see uh, we've got this right here should create our uh, our admin user so I'm gonna go ahead and select everything but that first part uh, because we don't want that this is a PHP uh, thing and we don't want that so we want to copy this block of code then we're going to go over here to our PHP my admin. We're going to click on a clip bucket. Then we're going to click on the little SQL tab. And then we're going to type in the first part of that, which was insert into, and then paste our uh, nice little doohickey here. Now the back tick is up there above your tab key. We we'll want to press that, and then we want to do CB underscore. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and click go. All right, so it says field voted does not have a default value. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead, I don't know what the value should be, but we're gonna go ahead and add that. Um, the back tick, voted. And then all the way down here, after the zero, we're going to uh, say no, it didn't vote. I don't know. Uh, oh, without back ticks, we want actual quotation marks single quote all right and then click go aha and it inserted just fine now what we're going to have to do we'll go up here and click refresh and then resend all right so it says that uh the action link okay so now we're going we got to fix one other issue I just fixed the one that would come after this so we're working them backwards but we'll go to clip bucket find uh, your includes folder <clears throat> go to uh, Adobe DB whatever um, go to uh, no I'm wrong I'm wrong, wrong wrong let's go back to classes and then find your users class All right, now in your text editor, hopefully you have line numbering, otherwise it's going to be really hard to count. You want to go down to line uh, 240 um, something. Where are we at? Right here. 256. Okay, I'm a little off. I think. No, 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 no. This is. Let's go ahead and comment this line out. And then comment this line, 267 and then go ahead and save it and then refresh and then resend aha now we got past it you you probably want to uncomment those I don't know how uh, this is some sort of log um, I don't know they can fix it for all I care um, you might want to fix it though uh, and uncomment that it might be important later but like I said this is a test and I'm fixing their uh, uh oh this should not uh, do that on, up on install so that's not my problem I want to uh, go ahead and specify your title I'm just going to say clip bucket test way to broadcast me and then uh, check the local URL without trailing slash save and continue uh, I'm not going to register I'm just going to skip that for now all right, and it says please delete the CB install directory. Now we want to make sure uh, we close this out, and I'm going to go to clip bucket CB install, and then I'm going to delete that thing. All right, so it should be good and happy. So we want to go ahead and continue to the admin area and you should be good to go now whoops
Okay. Well, we got an uh oh. Alright, we see the front of our site, but for some reason or another it's not letting me log in. Imagine that. Uh, says I do not have sufficient privileges. I'm not sure what the deal is here. Their uh, their program is really jacked up. But I'll tell you what, that is not my problem. Uh, there's how to install it, um, how to fix the rest. I don't know. Um, hit their user forums and maybe they can tell you. I don't know. Uh, I know if you install 2.5, you can log in to the admin area just fine. I don't know what the differences are. So, anyways, that's the conclusion to my tutorial. And I hope that helped at least get it installed. Check out my next one on how to install the uh, components that we skipped, uh, such as FFmpeg, uh, the FLV tool, and all that. Thanks for watching.